And when we do the five day forecast, they're going to have a detailed look at whether for the next five days across the British Isles, high pressure is going to continue to dominate throughout the coming period. It's going to change its position ever so slightly. So uh, today we just bring down a little bit of a cold front from the north and the east, just increasing the cloud and uh, lowering the temperatures a little bit. Conversely, by the time we get through to Friday and Saturday, we'll actually lift the temperatures up again. It's going to get really warm, if not hot, as we go through to Friday and Saturday. And then it's going to Sunday and Monday, the temperatures uh, will just dip down a little bit once again. But really, it's uh, very, uh, very much a fine, settled and warm spell of weather uh, that we're currently in and will continue to be in. Uh, for the next few days. Now, before I get on with the video, I just want to mention the advertising this green keyword out of my pages at gaswebbiz.com. If you roll your cursor over those green keywords, they will display ads. If you click through the word, uh, you'll go to the advertised website. And uh, by doing that, you're supporting gaswebbiz.com. And thanks very much um, for doing that. So, we're going to start off with the GFS chart for today, uh, Wednesday, the 10th of July. High pressure sitting right over the top of the country. Uh, so, we're just bringing down a little bit of a cold front to the north of the northeast. A very weak feature, but it's enough to just produce more cloud and bring some slightly cooler air in off the North Sea. <laughs> Um, so that's going to be the way a bit. Good sunny spells at the moment in the west. We'll find cloud increasing from the north and the east. So many parts having quite a, a cloudy sort of spell through the day. And then it'll probably brighten up a little bit in the east of the north as we go through into the afternoon with some more sunny spells um, coming through. Temperatures today, well, perhaps a little bit lower than they have been, but still pretty warm, really, at around 23, 24, 25 degrees, 25 being 77 Fahrenheit. So really not too bad. Can't complain about those temperatures. They're just a bit down on what they uh, have been. Now, as we move through into uh, tonight, we're going to find the high pressure still sitting there over the country. I think, if anything, the cloud will probably thin out a little bit through the course of the night. There'll probably be um, some clearer spells coming through. It's not going to be a desperately cloudy day today, by the way. I should just say, it's not going to be totally cloudy. There will be some sunny spells coming through, so I don't want to give too much of a dampener on what's happening today. Uh, even with more cloud, uh, there will still be sunny spells. But tonight, we are going to find the sunny spell, uh, the clear spells coming through. Um, and temperatures probably are holding up at around 8 to 14 degrees. Uh, no problems there. Uh, with temperatures tonight. Moving through into Thursday and the high pressure is still sitting right over the top of the country. I think there'll be more in the way of sunshine coming through on Thursday. Perhaps still some cloud floating around here and there but really it's pretty much a universally dry day. Away from northern Scotland and over the mountains of Scotland where there could be a thundery shower setting up for the afternoon but really it's basically a fine day uh, once again with a reasonable uh, sunny spells. Temperatures around 23, 24 uh, maybe 25 degrees into the mid to upper uh, 70s Fahrenheit. As we move through uh, into uh, Friday, we're going to find, if anything, the temperature's picking up uh, under this ridge of high pressure. Um, there'll be more aware sunshine around on Friday. I say temperature possibly picking up to around 27, 28 degrees, 28 being around uh, 83 Fahrenheit. Could get a, a little bit higher than that even. So really warm day on Friday with good sunny spells. Uh, again, some cloud and light rain to the north and the northwest of Scotland, but really most parts uh, will be dry and fine. Moving through to Saturday, we've got a weak cold front coming down across the country on Saturday, but ahead of it, it's going to be really warm, if not hot. So for England and Wales, we're looking at good sunny spells through the morning, uh, whereas Scotland and Northern Ireland have a band of cloud with maybe a few showers uh, moving southwards on a decaying and weakening cold front. As we move into Saturday afternoon, that cold front will come further southwards across England and Wales, say a very weak feature, but ahead of it it's really warm. So for southern, southeastern parts of England, those temperatures could get up to around 30, 31, maybe up the outside 32 degrees. 32 degrees is knocking on the door of 90 Fahrenheit, but it's just how quickly that cold front moves in. Um, it's just how quickly that cold front moves in as to whether we reach that 90 Fahrenheit mark. But in any case, it's going to be a really hot day on Saturday. Um, it's going to turn brighter behind that cold front and a little bit cooler and fresher uh, with maybe a shower for Scotland and Northern Ireland. Temperatures up there around 23 or 24. That uh, cold front has gone as we move through into Sunday. And then the ridge of high pressure is coming back in off the Atlantic. Got low pressure to the north of Scotland. That low pressure will be bringing a stronger westerly wind to Scotland and maybe some light patchy rain. So it'll be a bit cool and fresher up there. But the rest of the country dry and fine with sunny spells. Temperatures just 
edge down a little bit behind that cold front. So we're looking at maximums in the south of around 26 or 27. Still into the 80s Fahrenheit. In the north around uh, 20, 21 degrees. But just feels a little bit cooler and fresher on Sunday. And then as we move into Monday, the end of the forecast period, we're looking at the low pressure still to the northwest of Scotland. High pressure down to the southwest. So we're bringing showers back into Scotland and Northern Ireland. Mainly dry for England and Wales. You'll notice it's a bit cooler though on Monday uh, with a slightly fresher northwesterly wind. Temperatures down to 24 in the south, 24 is 75. Uh, this is the weather outlook chart for today and we've got a fair amount of cloud across the country but still there will be some sunny spells but based on the sunshine actually in the west or the southwest. Temperatures have edged down just a little bit. Uh, more and more sunshine coming through for Thursday and temperatures around the low to mid 20s. Then the heat starts to rebuild as we move into Friday with good sunny spells. Uh, for Saturday we've got a band of cloud coming down across the country. Could just produce a shower but I think it's basically just a band of cloud. Ahead of it really warm if not hot. Uh, temperatures peaking on Saturday afternoon somewhere in the low 30 Celsius in the southeast. Just edging the temperatures down a little bit for Sunday, but it's mainly dry uh, with good sunny spells. And then we bring some showers up to uh, the north and the west of Scotland on Monday. Still dry uh, for England and Wales and still pretty warm. So in summary, a prolonged dry spell uh, that we're in and going to stay in for the next five days. Um, temperatures have edged down a little bit today and will uh, stay uh, slightly lower uh, through Thursday. Then they'll pick up again through Friday and Saturday. Saturday is the peak of the heat. Uh, could just at the outside in the southeast get up to 32 Celsius, 90 Fahrenheit. But if it doesn't quite make it, it'll still be into the low 30 uh, Celsius. And then the temperatures will slide down a little bit again through Sunday and Monday, but still very warm. Uh, mainly dry for the south. Some showers in the north. And a very uh, fair spell of weather. Very anticyclonic. That's it for now. Thanks for watching.